So the start of a huge week for Newcastle United. Uh, two huge away games, one against Everton on Thursday night, which we're about to go on the press conference to, to preview first here with Eddie Howe. Uh, and secondly, that trip to Tottenham and really for Newcastle United's Champions League uh, hopes. It, it's a real opportunity to give them a massive boost. Uh, obviously, they haven't been in the top four for a while, uh, but they've managed to somehow stay on the, the coattails of the top four despite all of those injuries. So a real opportunity to, to close the gap, if you like, on those uh, Champions League places. Newcastle's injury crisis here has been nothing short of uh, unbelievable, given uh, they've never had one like this probably since about 2006. So a real chance for them to, to get a few players back in the next few weeks and push on. We're going to jump in the press conference now, see exactly what Eddie Howe's got to say ahead of that trip to Goodison. So we've just spoken to Eddie Howe there in his press conference ahead of the trip to Everton. Uh, obviously there's injuries were always going to be uh, a big topic in this and uh, Eddie Howe saying nobody back but Newcastle edging closer and I think really the big one the big question about injuries was Nick Pope uh, lots of speculation how long he's going to be out for it looks like uh, he will be missing for four months he will be getting an operation and Newcastle United now know that uh, they're going to need another goalkeeper going into this run of fixtures Martin Dubravka came on against Manchester United and did well in the circumstances given he had 20 seconds to warm up um, and now he's going to be the man between the posts uh, for the next few games. Eddie Howe was asked about David De Gea, you know the ex-Manchester United goalkeeper available on a free transfer, lots of talk about him but Eddie Howe saying he's made no inquiries for anybody, it's not at that stage yet. He's got faith in the goalkeepers he's got. Uh, you've got Mark Gillespie there, you've got Loris Karius, and obviously you've got Dubravka as well. So Eddie Howe making it very clear um, that he's made no approach for a new goalkeeper yet. He's going to stick with the players he's got. Uh, and now we move on to Everton with Dubravka between the posts. So yeah, a few more reflections on Eddie Howe's press conference earlier this morning. Uh, we went into it uh, with a lot of questions about goalkeepers and I think really uh, that was going to be no surprise uh, to Eddie Howe. Uh, because, you know, in the past few days, he's, he's seen a lot of headlines uh, about David De Gea um, potentially bringing in a replacement, talk of out-of-contract players coming in. Um, but, you know, those stories <laughs> were always going to be inevitable for me. I, I always had a feeling he was going to stick with Martin Dubravka just because, if you remember, Eddie Howe tried so hard to maintain his services at Newcastle even when he went on loan. I think it's it's really great unseen management from Eddie Howe um, in terms of Martin Dubravka was probably frustrated when Nick Pope was made number one at the start of last season um, and Eddie Howe reluctantly granted his move to Manchester United but he never stopped um, showing concern for the player. Uh, he was always in touch with him during his stint at Old Trafford uh, and it was actually Eddie Howe who recalled um, Martin Dubravka back to Newcastle and you know ever since there's been a bit of harmony uh, between the two and look you know he's just been waiting for his chance and he's, he's got it now in in difficult circumstances of course obviously Nick Pope uh, picking up that untimely injury against Manchester United um, you know obviously everyone's devastated for him but it's an opportunity now for um, Martin Dubravka to, you know, get back to the form he showed uh, probably in Eddie Howe's first season um, when he when he was the number one. So Eddie Howe, um, quick to, you know, dust away all these stories about uh, De Gea. He's not interested um, in signing another goalkeeper at, the, at this moment in time. Going forward in the window, you know, perhaps he might look to bolster um, that department in the summer, you know, contracts um, expiring, we'll have to wait and see. But look, at the, at the minute, Dubravka is a man between the posts going into Everton. Uh, and I think Eddie Howe is always you know, in the present moment and he's not even looking towards January at the minute. I'm sure it's at the back of his mind. Um, we did ask him a few questions about January. We said no inquiries have been made. And I, and I do personally think that Eddie Howe is keeping things very close to his chest. Um, and he, while his scouts are working away, I, I don't even think the scouts will have a full uh, idea on on the exact personnel Eddie Howe wants. I do think they know positions, but I don't think um, they've got a specific target that they've been told about. 
So that will be interesting to see how that unfolds going in, into the window. The game itself, Everton last season, great win for Newcastle down there. Um, you know, the Alexander Isak show really, wasn't it? Um, and Callum Wilson scoring an absolute thunderbolt of a goal as well in a very strong 4-1 uh, win down there. And Newcastle would love the same this time. Um, I'm not sure how they're doing it. Keep, you know, getting injuries and bouncing back. Um, but, you know, they, they will be favourites for the three points down at Goodison Park, uh, which has been a venue where Newcastle have enjoyed some great wins in the past. There's no doubt about it. So it's a real bonus uh, for Newcastle to be in such great form despite all these injuries. Uh, and Martin Dubravka comes into this game um, at Goodison Park on Merseyside. So, yeah, in terms of other talking points at the press conference, Eddie Howe was asked about his views on the stadium. Uh, obviously, we've had the survey this week. Uh, I will be giving you my views on that in the newsletter, um, which will be going around today. Um, we asked Eddie, and he was basically saying that you know his preference is to remain at St James Park, expand the stadium if we can, get as many supporters in as possible. Uh, but for him, moving's a no go, and I think that reflects a lot of supporters. They don't want to move from St James Park. It's it is the, you know, the main attraction of the city. Um, you know, even people who don't like football go up there and, and get pictures with Alan Shearer's statue and Bobby Robson's statue. So for me, um, Eddie Howe's, you know, message on the stadium chimes with most supporters. And, I, you know, I did have a look through the survey myself. Um, and I think the, the club are just canvassing what supporters really want where do you move that's the that's the question you know you've seen clubs move away from the city um and it, and it hasn't been a success so newcastle must um i think work as hard as i can to stay at st james park um the capacity we'll have to wait and see how they do it if they can do it um the season tickets we just have to wait and see Again, you know, what can they do about that? Can they make more available from, you know, what we've got now? Um, because surely there is, a, you know, some space for manoeuvre on that. We, we don't know. So Newcastle fans will be desperate to to see, you know, some progress on that front. They've been waiting for it for a while. Um, and Eddie Howe, again, you know, saying his preference was to stay at the stadium. So there we have it. Um, that's a roundup of what was said today. I'm tipping Newcastle for a win down at Goodison Park. Um, might not sound like a bold prediction at the moment, but you know Newcastle in great form. But at the end of the day, I think Everton's still a hard place to go. But I think Newcastle will do the job, and I think they will do the job well and set themselves up for Sunday at Tottenham. So it's a big week ahead. Everton and Tottenham away. If Newcastle can emerge with the six points from this, then I think uh, there's every chance uh, they can get back in touch with the, with the top four.